Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to week 12. This week we're going to talk about health literacy and communication. So being health literate, a lot of people, right, are challenged with healthcare uh, terms, healthcare knowledge, knowing what's going on with their personal care. And you and I, like dealing with healthcare on a weekly or daily basis, hear about this stuff more often. So we're more aware of some of the terminology or maybe the communication that, you know, is lingo in healthcare per se, but patients may not be. So this is really going to help you be aware of those challenges. There's a lecture, right? So we're taking a look at chapter nine again. So when you look at chapter nine, uh, I know you probably already read it because we've already gave, gave a review on chapter nine a few weeks back, but take a look at it again. Uh, at least if you've read it, uh, make sure you look over the outline because you're going to have week nine quiz due this week. Um, and there's some really cool information in here about specifically week nine. And we're also going to talk about uh, some very important topics in regards to week nine, uh, section 9.3, which is health communication and relationships. So if you take a look at this, it's going to pull you to the textbook, which is really, I think, super cool. And I'm going to concentrate a lot on you know, that from the perspective of how do we communicate effectively with patients who may not be as literate as, as we are in healthcare. Uh, you do have some really cool information about health liter literacy from the perspective of this uh, link here, so take a look at that. Uh, and there's also some, some ex excellent articles that I've attached. So one is about public health and making sure patients are literate in their care. Um, and from that perspective, you, you do have a lot of government resources, which I included here, the CDC's guidance on health literacy, which is very helpful. So. Uh, that is also something you should take a look at. We do have a discussion board due this week. So, of course, 200 words. Your initial post is due Wednesday at midnight. So that would be on the 8th and your reply on the 12th. So uh, from that perspective, uh, making sure that you get your information done on time is important because I've seen a couple of you forget about your initial post and do it a little late. So make sure you do that on time. So you do have a discussion board and a, of course, quiz on chapter nine, but uh, this is chapter nine, part two. So I know you reviewed it already, like I said, but make sure you review it again because it's probably the most important chapter in the textbook. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Looking forward to seeing what you think in your discussion boards and replying to you. I always enjoy reading those. Uh, and again, if you ever need me, you know where I am. You can email me at any time. Thanks so much.